Hello, everyone. Yes, we're live. I'm so excited. Hey, welcome to Sketchnote Summer Camp. So how's it going? You, um, very excited that you guys are here. So today we're going to make a pinwheel, but I just thought you might wait for a couple of people to get jump on. I just thought I'd kind of go over some things. So anyway, don't need my glasses right now, so I'll take those off. So how's your summer going? Oh my gosh, like it has just been just the loveliest weather. I think Monday, Monday or Tuesday, it was like 75 all day long because it's starting to get warm in the afternoons here in St. Louis. And uh, I pretty much garden all day. Um, oh, yeah, you know, you're looking at summer camp. You're not looking at me. All right. You know, one of these days, there we go. Hey, everybody. Marsha Baker, welcome to Sketch Note Summer Camp. Hey, Lorraine. Hey, thanks so much, Lorraine, for doing that research for me. Um, we're going to use that a little bit later, probably earlier next week. So you rock. You, like, totally helped me out because it's just been a really, really crazy time. So, uh, so anyway, it's just the weather has been. Hey, Joan, how are you? So, yeah, 110 heat index. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been... Um, Oh, I think it's good enough that like it might we might might get our first ninety degree day today. So um, so I got out and I saw our house. It's basically I have a garden like three hundred and sixty degrees around my house. So um, I was never much of a gardener, but my my children had um, my boys through college decided to. Um, have a landscaping business build retaining walls and then they would come home and be like Mrs. So-and-so needs plants and so I'd have to like figure out plants because our yard used to look like we had nothing like no shrubbery nothing it's like you you drive down the street and you guys think thinking like, what is wrong with those people at this house because there's nothing now my yard looks like it should be in Ledoux. Ledoux is like the uptown foo foo place here in St. Louis. I mean it's just um it's a very affluent area and I have a fountain, I have a swing. Anyway, I will take pictures and I will show you. Anyway, so thanks for joining me. And um so anyway we will get going here. So get showing you some things. So we're gonna make a pinwheel today and I'm gonna show you the uh, scavenger hunt challenge kind of working on that so but before I get started a couple things I wanted to show you where did that go so let's see get me back to there we go so now you're seeing that okay oh my gosh the hundred day project I'm not sure I'm ever gonna do this again it's it's awesome and I feel a lot more confident in drawing these little things but it has just taken up so much time, more time than I ever dreamed of. So today is take your dog to work day. So we are dogless at this moment. My son has a dog, so I live vicariously through him. Uh, they have a golden retriever named Leo, and it's an adorable dog. But unfortunately, I'm allergic to Leo, so I have to be a little careful about petting Leo. But he's an amazing dog. So I know we all love our dogs. I used to have the most adorable little border terrier. But that was years ago, and it's just not the season of our life right now to have a dog. And then lanterns, like, I just love sitting outside in the back, you know, and just hang, stringing some lights and stuff. So I thought I'd just do some lanterns and mushrooms because mushrooms are just always fun to draw. National Pink Day. That's the other thing I love about this whole 100-day project is that I have um, just been able to do some research. Pink. Who knew it started with pinking shears? Really, it did. I forget exactly when, but back in like the 16, 1800s. And then that led to a tulip called pinkish, something like that. I can't read my, it's too small. So that's where the whole pink thing came from. So uh, a couple days ago, it was National Pink Day. And then we drew fish, and then we Happy Father's Day, and then camping clocks cleaning. Did you know that there's actually a museum of clean in Pocatello, Idaho? I've been there. It's a very, um, I can't say the word, catchy, K-E-T-C-H-Y, kind of like, <laughs> I think, it, anyway, it's, it's, it's eclectic, it's fun, it's, it's just a little out there, but 
um, they have like a whole room of vacuum cleaners, just the history of vacuum cleaners. It's very, it's a it's a fun place. And anyway, it's in Pocatello, so very fun. So uh, if you're ever in Pocatello, Idaho, go to the Museum of Clean. And then it was like eat your vegetable day, so vegetables were easy and castles. Not really sure what made me motivated me to do castles, but I did. And then honeybees, and then summer, and then sewing and art supplies and perfume bottles. I think I talked about perfume bottles last time. So so anyway, so it's my 100 day project. So, okay, 19 more days to go. Oh my goodness, I'm worn out. Cause I, it, um, I just really needed to pick something that was not quite so labor intensive. It's, uh, it's been a thing. All right, so there I am. Okay, let me get back to you guys. There we go. All right. Um, all right. So, hey, say hi if you're here. I'd love to know who, who's all here. So, um, so I just want to just kind of go over. So there's summer camp. So I love your July suggestions. So July, Christmas in July, to think about that. And then seashells and just a couple other suggestions were awesome. So I've been making notes, but I haven't, I'm kind of after tonight. That's what my goal is, is to get my, uh, to get the July packet done. And also let you know what the, the bonus, there's still a bonus. Let's see. So I have my one page. Uh, anyway, so so the bonus challenge A, we're going to sketch note a sermon. So I will let you know what that is and show you mine. And then for those of you that joined the technique, sketch sneaks, uh, last week we had a lot of fun just uh, scribbling so that's what this page was for and then today we're gonna do pinwheels so but before I get started with that um, to show you everything that you need um, I just thought I would show you so far what I've done because I think Joan was asking about more watercolor techniques so anyway I am loving watercolor paper and which okay which my ah there it is. So I like this Canson brand watercolor. Um, 140 pound. And this particular watercolor, I think this is what I showed last week, last time. Um, it's pretty smooth, so you can write on it. It's really nice. Um, so anyway, so Joan wants to do more watercolor, so we might just be doing some more watercolor. So anyway. So that's that's one of the things we did from the scribble nights. So just kind of kind of we just scribble and then um, this one I particularly wrote up, Waymaker. That is just the the song that the Lord's giving me right now. Like because there's several challenges. People have got some challenges and I just feel like there's no way forward and I know that He can make a way. So that's kind of where that came from. So and then um, so. When you do watercolor on this um, cardstock, I like to. Um, is it? Here we go. Um, I like to tape it down. Otherwise, it gets really um, bumpy, and it's not doesn't lay flat. So, so these are so far two of my words. Um, I do campfire. And then, you know, I just, and I just decided to kind of let things just kind of, kind of blend and have fun. And then I probably will go over, I definitely know that I'm going to go over the campfire, make that a lot bolder. And then here I'm probably going to go over the um, verse again. So the verse I chose is for a campfire, which I know is not even on my list, complete with spelling errors, stat and forest, I think should not have two R's, um, for where two or more are gathered. In my name, there I am with them. So I thought as we all get around the campfire and sing, you know, um, that's a great time for fellowship. And then my next one is fireflies. I've seen just these adorable little fireflies flying around during the day. And um, so, um, there we go. Um, so anyway, so I, I did fireflies. So I, I I drew my fireflies and then I just kind of painted with different blues in the background to let that dry and then I went back in and painted my fireflies orange. So anyway, I will let you see this when I get done. But anyway, so there's my scavenger hunt so far. So hey Carol. Oh yes, hot in Florida. 
but I would like to be in Florida because you have the ocean and I am like so missing the ocean. So, all right, so what do we need today to get started on the pinwheel? These are actually so easy and just such a great thing to do, um, you know, and I meant, it's like I meant to do something. So here's one that's done. Like how easy is that? And so I, okay, all right, so we're having a little technical issue here. So there we go. So, all right, I might, I might put a little glue on that to keep that in there. So, but anyway, but it uh, kind of spins a little bit. All right, I definitely think I would put some glue in there. Keep that spinning and maybe they aren't meant to spin. There we go. So what I am using for that, so you can use just blank white paper, but I, okay, this all totally started with the straws. I um, just found some paper straws and went, oh, oh, that would be so fun for pinwheels. So that's that's where we got that. So my red, white, and blue. And then, uh, these are so easy. Um, I need a pair of scissors, right? Um, I'm just going to use some red and blue markers. I'm going to use a little glue stick. So, and then um, you can either use, cut off a little bit of, an eraser, or I'm going to use these like a, just one little bead. Um, these little seed beads, and these are just something I had on hand. Let me see if I can show you these. I mean, they're just kind of kind of see that. Oh, let's see. There we go. That's a little close up. Anyway, so just just tiny little seed beads. Anything, and if you you know don't out go out and buy beads if you don't have any. But I just had a couple little on around. Um, if you, and then um, you could use a push pin or these brads work really well. Actually, I think these brads actually work a little better. Um, you just have to put a hole, a more, you know, serious hole in the straw. So, so anyway, um, we made these last year in uh, Children's Church and they had a ton of fun. So I just was going to show you, now that I spilled my beads everywhere, um, so, so anyway, so I just used some watercolor, or sorry, scrap paper, and then I put a border, or I just did a, and um, you could also put a verse on there, a verse about liberty, and um, I went to look that up, and it totally escaped me. So I, I could definitely write a verse here because we know God's never work, God's word never comes out, comes back empty. So, so. Uh, so to do that, I just used my Tombrow brush pins. And actually, I'll show you this one, this pattern here. Very easy. It's just red and stars. Red and blue and blue dots and blue stars. So I am gonna choose um, actually I think I'm gonna choose a red. There we go. Use a red sheet. And um, just kind of do this very quickly. So I'm going to do some red stripes. And so I have a paper underneath. Okay. All right. Yes. Joan just got a watercolor notebook paper. Yes. I like them in a, in a, um, in a, in a book and, um, you just keep working. If you're not happy with it, you just keep working there. You can always cut it out, one of the two things. But I kind of like them all together because I'm finding that I'm kind of like have some done on loose leaf and I'm having trouble keeping keeping a hold of them. So I kind of like the watercolor book. So basically, and notice I'm putting a, a sheet of paper underneath. Um, and I'm just going to make some stripes really quickly. I'm not going to finish this whole thing. Um, just to kind of keep things moving. All right. So, anybody going anywhere? Everything's closed. At least here in Missouri, it is. We were gonna maybe take a road trip, but I don't think we will be. So, so there's that. So I just made some red stripes, and then um, I could use the the small end of this um, Tombrow brush. I'm just going to use this bigger marker, just something I have on hand, and uh, I'm just going to draw stars. 
something simple, simple, simple. You know, and this is something easy, and then I'm going to do dots, dots and stars. And then you could maybe write a verse here. That could be a good choice. So, it's like one of those things I meant to do and totally forgot. So I'll have to make one with a verse a little bit later. But I just wanted to show you. Oops, this is the star. So, we're going to do stars. And if you wanted to color them in, you certainly could do that. Color them in. And then we're just going to do dots. All right. All right. And these are little stars. So, anyway, so this is the back of the pattern, and this is what this one looks like. So, um, I kind of like that blue and that red kind of pops. So that, so, but this one I had marked. So, the pattern for the pinwheel is missing. What's up with that? Who knows where I put that? Well, you know, I have all these things like organized and just right here and eh, yeah, they just run away. I think it's just the art room gremlin just makes them run away. Who knows? All right, but simple, simple. So basically, what I did is I, this is actually six by six, and I think the pattern in your thing is five by five. So um, you come in like two inches, but I'm going to make mine two and a quarter, right? And um, I have pre measured, in case you're wondering, like, I, I pre measured my dots. And then, so you can kind of see, I'm just going to make a diagonal cut on these four, right? Like this. And I'm just going to cut in. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you'll see that if you don't cut in far enough, the paper will kind of bind. And you'll need to cut a little further. All right. So for this one, I think I'm going to choose a blue star. Okay. Go from there. And then I'm going to just go ahead and use the. Actually, I'm going to need. This paperback. It doesn't really matter. So because I'm going to just choose an end, and I'm just going to bring this. Actually, I want this to be like I'm going to. I want the pattern to show. So um, I am going to use my glue stick and just glue the end of that one, and then this one glue that one and then on my new piece so just pick a corner pick pick a side and just glue the same corner all right and now and don't glue your stuff to the paper so my pin I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin in there so I'm gonna have to come back around my pin but I'm going to just glue and I'm going to hold all four of my corners. See, this one is not, oh, maybe it is. Okay, glue all four of my corners and maybe you could also hot glue this. See, my glue. I think my glue is old. Might be time for new glue. You know, it's like one of those things you buy glue sticks and then you never use them and then they get all dry and then when you need it, you have to go out and buy new ones. Anyway, ooh, I kind of like that with the blue and the red. So I'm just going to hold that there for a minute just to kind of make sure it sticks. And then I'm going to come through with the pen, the pen. I'm going to put it directly in the middle, like that. And then I'm going to come on the back. Well, you can see I missed the middle by a little bit. I'm going to come on the back. I'm going to take my little bead, right? And I'm going to drop it on. Okay. 
easy for me to do without glasses. So you can kind of see, you kind of put that bead on the uh, push pin, and then that way it's it's got space. So when I actually add the straw, and you could also do this with bamboo stickers or skewers, soak them in water. Um, anyway, that little pin just gives it enough space. You can kind of see that. There we go. I don't know. You can kind of see that pin right there. It gives it enough space where it can turn. And so therefore, there's my other pinwheel. So how easy is that? So I don't know. How fun were those? Hand those out at 4th of July. Have the kids help you make them. Um, I just thought those would be fun. So we're having a... I've been working really hard to get my garden all gorgeous. And I was just thinking that maybe if I had everybody over, maybe I'd give everybody a pinwheel because I have 25 straws. <laughs> so I have lots to do. So, all right. Oh, I gotta put my glasses back on because I can't read my Facebook comments. All right. So, all right. All right. Um, let's see. I want to make sure. So, do you guys have any questions? Anything you want to see? Oh, Joan already went to the beach this summer. Yes. Hmm. I'm sad. Hope it was lovely. Anyway, I'd love to go to the beach. My husband does not like the beach. So. So, I know this was a quick one. This was quick, but, um, so those are fun, and uh, the kids will love them, and, you know, you could also glue the um, things in, or actually, that's where I think maybe the breads might work better, is actually putting the hole in there, and then just, you're going to have to, like, use a Sharpie or some, uh, Sharpie, how about an X-Acto knife to make a, a bigger cut in the, in the straw, so this will go through and then wrap around. And uh, I think that might be, that's going to stick in there better because you saw kind of saw the problem that I had with the, the straw or the pushpin wanting to come out. So anyway, um, yes, pinwheels are tons of fun. So anyway, um, I am working on July. Oh, I do need to talk to you guys. So um, I am not sure what the July uh, Facebook Live looks like because I um, I just have a family member with with major medical issues, and uh, so I may need to be gone for the month of July. So I may not do Facebooks, or I may do them on a different time. It sort of depends. Um, so just be a little flexible with me. But know that I am working on getting the July packet out as soon as possible, and everything else that I owe you. And um, anyway, I just. Um, so go have fun. Go go do fun things for the summer. Uh, go do fun summer things. So I know that I can't wait for it to get a little cooler this evening. And I'm going to go back outside and work and do some more gardening. And when I am ready, I will share pictures of my garden with you. So And I will finish my, um, my scavenger hunt. So um, I did want to show you one of the words I was going to pick was refresh. And, um, oh, thank you, Lorraine. Prayers for my family. Yeah, because it, actually it's my brother-in-law, and he's got like a very aggressive form of brain cancer. So, which is so odd because cancer doesn't run in my, my husband's family at all. So, um, kind of odd. So, anyway, we're kind of speechless and prayerful. And um, he's a very good man. So, we would just like to pray that that um, he heals from this, or, or I don't know what the right term is, beats this, I'm not sure. So anyway, anyway, I will show you pictures of my garden, and I will post the July packet pretty soon, and um, it's not a, okay, what marker, oh, Jenny has a question. Oh, I love when you guys have questions. Please, please, please ask me tons of questions. Okay. Um, what pen marker brand do you use to highlight your sermon notes in white? I've tried, um, but I've been, oh, oh, okay. This is the one I totally love, except they don't last really long, but these work like, oh my gosh. And I will, okay, so can you see that? It's, I will write this down on a piece of paper, right? So it's the Signo, it's the Uniball, Signo brand, okay, and maybe, and 
I will find it's the uniball signal. Okay, so far this is the one I'm very happy with because I have tried these gel pins and they sort of work but not really great. I haven't been happy with those. Um, and then, hold on. So, so far this is the one I'm happiest with except it's almost out. And then, well, that one's, I have, a, I have the Sharpie paint pen, but I'm not happy with that either. So it's, the thing about paint pens is like, it's like almost like one time use. Hey, Renee. So, um, so, uh, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. All right. It has been a crazy week. We will definitely be praying for your mom. So, um, these, uh, pens. back to this. So let's just use, let's just use this paper. Okay. So you can kind of see. So this one has, and you can kind of see I've almost used, I don't know, can you see that? See the difference in the two? Like this one's got a lot more ink in it and this one I've pretty much used up. So, but um, anyway, I don't know what should we write? So, all right. See how lovely that is? And you can go over and make it wider and kind of treat it like some of that faux calligraphy. It's good to let it dry and then you can go back over it, but totally love those pens. So anyway, um, these are great and I need to order more. And I don't think they're crazy expensive either. I want to say maybe I got a pack of three for less than 20 bucks. I'm not sure, but I will find the link and I will post it. So there's that. So any other questions, Michael? was out of the Uniball White, so I got the Fab Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. Anxious to get started using it. Okay, Joan, yeah, let's see. Let's see ya. Let's see what so tell me if you like it. Um hey Gloria, I'm so okay, so we're very glad that you're here. Very excited that you're joined Sketch Note Boss. And um, so I am in the background trying to do a lot of things. I'm trying to come up with a a kind of a quick start guide of how to get doodling and uh, to, with confidence. And so you can doodle during your um, devotional time or during sermon sketch notes and that kind of thing. So I'm really trying to work on some, some basic, putting some basic things in place. But in the meantime, we're having a little fun at summer camp. So Gloria, thanks for joining us. And I would just really love it if you would just, just reach out to me with direct message or whatever, or just post and just let me know, um, what's working for you, what you're frustrated with, what I could do to fix things. Anyway, anything that you um, have questions with, that's why I'm here. So I'm just, the whole point of why we're doing what we're doing is just uh, slowing down to be in the Word. And when I know for me, when I am artful, um, my, my quiet time just really explodes. And I find that that's, other people are telling me the same thing. So that's why we do what we do. So anyway, um, if there's no more questions, I think that we'll call it a day so you can get outside and go play. So, um, and if you have any questions afterwards, please feel free to direct message me. Um, and um, I will get, do my best to respond as soon as possible. And, um, oh, are you seeing? Oh, there you are. You are seeing me. I still don't have my little buttons right. I'm going to just see. I'm still practicing with my little buttons so you can see me or not me. So there's, see, there's me big. There's my art room. Still working on my lighting. It's a little dark in here, but I'm still working on my lighting. Uh, whew, it's a thing. This whole live video thing, it's a thing. So anyway, um, thanks for being here. And um, you guys have an awesome day. And um, just know that I pray for you guys every day. And, you know, um, just I know everybody got some challenges out there. And uh, you guys are on my heart. And so if I can help you in any way, let me know. And otherwise, I will... Um, let you know when the next Facebook Live will be and and watch for the next post to find out when where you can um, when the July packet will be available. So you all take care and um, I will see you soon. Love you guys.